Hello and welcome to Curry TV. Today we're going to make stuffed poblano peppers with creamy chicken. Let's see all the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. We will be using poblano peppers. Poblano peppers are in the Mexican family and they're not as spicy as jalapenos but not as sweet as um, bell peppers. So these are nice fresh poblano peppers that we got from our local grocery store. And I'm using chicken as my filling. So if you want to use chicken or tofu or shrimp, salmon, that's up to you. I'm using shredded chicken. You could use um, rotisserie chicken, canned chicken, any of your choice. I'm using shredded chicken here. We need some oil to saute all our raw vegetables, such as green chilies, ginger and garlic and um, onion. So I'm using canola oil. Uh, two uh, Thai chilies, those are spicy. I like my uh, filling to be a bit spicy, not too much like you overpowering, you're like sweating, no, that, that's not like that. So this is just two small Thai chilies. We're gonna be grating our ginger, garlic, and I'm just gonna give this an Indian twist. So I like to add a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a teaspoon of garam masala. To garnish all this, we'll be using cilantro and chives. That fresh herbs will give you a very um, surprising flavors in your when you are having this. And of course, we need diced onion. But in my filling, I am adding different elements to give the crunch. So I'm having uh, some desiccated coconut, curry leaves. Of course, how can you make a curry without curry leaves? And we have cream cheese and sour cream. Cream cheese and sour cream are our binding agents, so this becomes very moist in there. And of course, we need to season all this with some salt and pepper. So let's take a look how to make this. We're gonna make the filling first. Once our pan is nice and hot, we're gonna pour in one tablespoon of canola oil. Okay, to that, we are gonna add our diced onion. This is half cup. While that is heating up, we are gonna grate our ginger and garlic. We need a teaspoon of ginger. That's good. We're gonna go directly into our pan here with the one garlic clove. At this point, I'm gonna add my desiccated coconut to this. Although it's already dry, I like to just get that lively again. Just a half cup. Into this, we're gonna add fresh curry leaves. Best portion to use is the chicken breast. So if you're using chicken breasts, shred them according to your preference. And let's add that in. I've just seasoned this with some black pepper and salt. And one teaspoon of garam masala. If you haven't seen how to make your own garam masala, please do check it out. Let's season this with some black pepper. And salt. Our filling is almost ready. Very good, let's turn off our stove. While our filling is resting, let's take half cup of cream cheese and half cup of sour cream, combine it together. You could add cheese to this if you like, um, cheddar or mozzarella, they're both a really good combo. Okay, to this we're gonna add a little bit of our chives. We're gonna keep some for our garnish and some cilantro. Beautiful. To this, we're gonna add all our filling. Okay, let's mix all this together. This is good as its own. You could add celery to this, you could add um, any sorts of vegetables that of your preference. Okay, beautiful. It's not too moist, it's not too dry. So that's the way I like it. If you like to add more sour cream, you're more than welcome to, or cream cheese. Okay, let's keep this to a side. 
Next, what we're going to do is prep our poblanos. Poblanos are really easy to take care of. You just have to cut it along the side, making it like a boat. Let's cut all of them like so. With this spoon, we are going to de-seed all of them. It's okay if there's a few seeds here and there. They're, they don't have much flavor to it, not spicy at all. If you have never tried poblano before, just take it one step at a time. I like to keep the stem so people can hold on to it while they're having it. So I got my air fryer out. I am preheating it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you like your poblanos to be nice and soft, we have to do this next step. But if you like it crunchy, you can definitely get your filling going into our spicy boats and pop them into the air fryer and cook for 8 to 10 minutes. So my air fryer says, yes, I'm ready for you. I'm going to place my poblanos one at a time or a couple of them. How many can I squeeze in there? Okay, there's three in there. We're gonna cook it for eight minutes. So that becomes very nice and soft. Okay, these are ready to come out. Oh wow. Look at those blisters. Those are all flavor. Okay, let's place them onto a plate. We're gonna get the rest of them going while we work on the filling. While the second batch is going, we are going to work on our filling. So for that, I'm just going to take a good, generous amount and stuff it all up in there. Now if you like cheese, this is the time to go crazy with cheese. Top it off with mozzarella, cheddar, any of your choice. With this one, you can do it ahead of time in case if you want to have it for a large scale, you can make all this ahead of time and keep it in the fridge. Okay, let's switch. Swap these babies out. So I just swapped these babies in. I'm going to cook it for another five minutes. Let's set a timer. While that is doing its job, let's get the filling in here. Back in the day when you could have guests over for game night or whatever, this was one of the highlights everybody would like. Okay, so I just topped it all off. Now we're going to garnish it with some chives on top. These are all optional. Once these babies are done, we're going to swap these guys in and we're going to garnish it and we're going to dig in. Easy as that. These babies are done. Let's get these out. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow, wow, wow. Only if you can actually smell all this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. How soft our peppers are. And the filling is just superb. Right on the dot. Now don't be scared because these are poblano. They're not spicy, yet not sweet either. So, 
Come on. Try it. I know you'll like it. It's time for dig in. Right? Take one of these babies. Ooh. It is good, really good. So if you have never tried poblano peppers, don't wait any longer. Go try them out. With this great recipe, you'll be in, in for a ride. Thanks so much for tuning into Curry TV. I'll see you next time.